Hi there, my name is Steven. Welcome to the Michelin Tire Workshop. Today we're going to be talking about how do I mount a tubeless tire. Uh, today we're going to be talking about mounting a tubeless mountain bike tire, but the same principle applies to a gravel or cyclocross or even a road tire. Uh, more and more tubeless tires are becoming very, very popular, and why is that? Uh, it's because uh, it gives you better puncture resistance. It lets you roll at a, uh, at a lower pressure, which gives you a little bit more comfort and also gives you a little bit better grip, uh, especially in uh, wet or slippery conditions. The first thing that we need to do is prepare our rim uh, to make sure that the tire is ready to be mounted. We're going to look at the rim tape to make sure there's no cracks in the rim tape. Uh, we're gonna look also at the rim itself to make sure there are no spots in the rim that are bent or damaged from rock hits or something like that. And then we're also going to look at our valve to make sure that the valve isn't blocked with some old sealant or anything else like that, okay? After we do that, we're gonna take the valve core out. Uh, this is important because as we reinflate the tire, we want to be able to get the maximum amount of air in as quickly as possible to make sure the tire seats well with the bead or with the, uh, with the rim bead. Okay. So, if we're mounting a new tire, there's no real need to inspect it. Hopefully it's been well made. Uh, if we're mounting a used tire, we need to try to make sure that we get uh, all of the old gunk off of it, anything that could cause a, uh, a problem with the good seal of the tire, try to get, remove that. And make sure that there are uh, no pre-existing conditions, uh, no thorns or uh, contaminants inside the tire that could lead to a, a leak further in the future. So the first thing we're going to do when we mount the tire is we're going to look and see if it's a rotationally specific tire. Uh, on this tire it is, and we see here that uh, the indication of the rotation is here. So I want to take that tire and place it as though I'm sitting on my bicycle to make sure it's going to roll in the correct way, okay? And then I'm going to take my rim, always with the disc brake on the left, because on uh, bicycles disc brakes are always on the left. This way I know the rim and the bicycle are well matched, or the rim and the tire are well matched, and that uh, when I mount it, it's going to go in the proper direction. Now what I like to do is I like to take the logo of the tire and line it up with the rim. It looks kind of classy and that's the way the pros do it. And uh, if the pros do it, it's good enough for me. Next thing we're going to do, we're gonna take the wheel, we're gonna put it entirely inside the tire, which usually is uh, somewhat easy. There we go. And once it's completely inside the tire, we're going to start at the side opposite from the valve like this, and we're gonna take the bead of the tire and we're gonna put it right in the middle channel of that rim. And we wanna put it in the middle channel because that's gonna give us the maximum amount of space to work with when we're at the other side of the tire. And uh, some tires can be pretty tight, so uh, getting it in that channel is important. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press that up against my stomach to keep it in place. I'm gonna start working on both sides at the same time to make sure that I'm advancing well. I'm gonna push that over the edge using the palm of my hands wherever possible because the palm of your hands is stronger than your thumbs and this way you don't wear yourself out too much. So we've got the first bead on. Next thing we're gonna do is the second side. So we take the bead, we find the center channel once again, put it in, keep it nice and tight, work the two sides together a little bit. Now again with the ends of my palm or the palm of my hands, I'm gonna be working that in. Now at this point, there's actually two different ways that you can continue. Uh, the first way is you can dump the sealant directly in here and uh, then finish putting on your tire. Or you can do what we're going to do today. We're going to take the uh, sealant that's in a little syringe and we're going to put it directly into the valve stem. This way is a little bit cleaner. It also allows you to pre-measure pretty well. Uh, so this is the way I prefer to do it. So because we're going to do that this way, I'm going to go ahead and finish mounting the tire. So once again, applying pressure and continuing with the rolling on. And as you can see, it goes on quite nicely. Okay. So now I want to make sure the tire is centered pretty well. If the tire is centered pretty well and the rim and tire are, are made well, um, it's going to really facilitate our next step, which is adding the air to get the tire seated correctly. Now, since we've removed our valve core, 
the compressor uh, gauge or the compressor chuck is not going to hold on to the valve as it would as if, if you still had the, the valve stem in there or the valve core in there. So when you add that on, make sure you hold that in place as you pump it up. Okay, so that should do it. Now I'm going to do an inspection of the rim line just to make sure that everything's on there correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and uh, plug it up with my thumb just to keep the air in so that I can do a nice inspection and make sure that it's well seated all the way around. There's not any variation uh, from the rim line to, uh, to the rim itself. And it looks like everything's well mounted here. There's no, uh, no problem. Now, because we're gonna be adding the sealant back into the core, I'm gonna go ahead and let the tire air escape. You don't need to be worried about the tire coming off of the rim because uh, it's nice and well seated in there. So all that it's left for us to do now is to take our sealant. Line it up well with the hole. And go ahead and pump all that sealant in there. Okay, now it's possible you get a little bit of sealant just around the edges, go ahead and clean that up. Now at this point in time, we wanna go ahead and add the valve core back in. Just finger tight should do nicely. And we're going to reinflate the tire. Okay, then we're gonna give that tire a good spin just to uh, spread that sealant around and rotate it to the side so that it gets in there nicely. Spreading it around and then rotate it to the other side. And if you want to, you can uh, go ahead and give it some bounces on the floor just to make sure that it's working its way into all the nooks and crannies and places where it might leak. Okay, so normally it takes at least a day for everything to set up, for the glue to set up, to work into all the nooks and crannies to make sure that all of the, the, uh, the little tiny micro uh, gaps are closed. So uh, sometimes you wait. Myself, as soon as I have a new tire on, I like to go ride it, so let's go ride. Mm -hmm.